This morning, we're talking about agreement, the principle of agreement. Yes. Let me give you some context. Agreement is God's design plan to crown our lives with peace. peace. That's right. Do you want peace this morning? Do you want peace at all? Forget the morning, noon, and night. We need some peace. Yeah. Your peace lies within your ability to agree with God. And in this one, we're going to notice something. We're going to understand agreement of peace. We're going to Amen. understand how to agree with a difference to someone else. Yes. We're going to also understand how to agree with who? God. God. And finally, we need to know how to agree with each, each other. other. Amen. 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 And so I want you to sit back, get ready to take some notes and understand that you're going to see agreement from a different perspective, mm. from a perspective that you haven't thought about before. No, I'm not asking you to agree with everyone you speak with. I'm asking you to agree with God. Amen. 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 The power of agreement. Let's go, Pastor. All right. Let's go. So we are talking about the next principle, as Pastor Kofi said, which is the power of agreement. Now imagine a world where everyone not only gets along, but thrives together in harmony. That is amazing, right? Well, that's what it's going to be like in heaven. Man. This isn't just a lofty idea. It's a biblical principle, the power of agreement, that points you and I towards a towards living in peace. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to be able to explore how the power of agreement, this principle, is understood, practiced, and lived that we can be able to bring us closer to this reality. Mm. Now, when we look at the power of agreement, step one is the understanding of agreement. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. When we look at that, understanding agreement is the first step towards living in peace, setting the foundation of every form of agreement by aligning our desires, our will, and actions with God's, God's plan. plan. Amen. Okay, yeah. You want to say something, Pastor? Oh, that's, that's coming along right there. So agreement in its spiritual essence is far more than a mere concurrence of opinion. Mm -hmm. It is a harmonious alignment of our heart, mm. the spirit, and purpose. In order to be able to understand agreement, we must first recognize that as a foundational principle of the mm. kingdom of God. To understand agreement, we must first recognize it as a foundational principle of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. It is about aligning our desires, again, our will and actions with God's divine plan. Mm. And as you and I seek to understand agreement, what happens is we delve into the knowledge of God's work, allowing it to shape our thoughts, dealing with the mindset, our actions. And this understanding is the first step towards living in peace as it sets the foundation for all forms of agreement that we aim to achieve. Mm, mm, mm. So that's the first step. That's the first step. Agreeing with 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 God. Coming in alignment with what Coming his will is. Coming in alignment with God and his will for our lives. Yes. So God's plan for our lives. Yes. You know, that aligns with my very why, the very thing mm -hmm. that causes me to get up in the morning, to study, to make sure that I'm approved by God, to make sure that I'm doing the right thing every day. Yeah. This is my why. Yeah. My why is to get all of us to accept God's plan yeah. for our lives yeah. and to complete every assignment that he gives us. Yes. And you talk about that. You teach on it. You minister it, you live 
in it. So mm, mm, I get mm. it. It's okay, a, amen. Yeah. I'm just seeing how the principles work. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with number two. Which is agreeing with the difference. Number two is agreeing with the difference. So here it is. When we look at the summary of agreeing with the difference, it's embracing the differences is the key to agreement. Mm. Embracing our differences is the key to agreement. We're not going to always agree, right? No, we're not. But we have to learn to embrace our differences, mm. recognizing the unique contributions of each individual. Watch this. Without compromising our values and finding a common ground amidst diversity. Mm. You want to say something, Pastor? Yeah, because I, I often hear... When you hear a debate or an argument or even in the midst of one myself, mm -hmm. I find that when you're talking to someone and they have a contrast view of yours, mm -hmm. I find that you have to let them know that you comprehend what they're saying, but they take your comprehension as agreement mm -hmm. with what they're saying. Mm -hmm. And it's not always that you agree. There's that moment to agree to disagree. Yeah. I think yeah. lays right there. But and within this principle of agreement, it is to have a comprehension yeah, of yes. where the other individual is coming from yes. and to agree with the different perspective that you have about the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay. I feel you on that. <laughs> Me and my wife, we are um, born in the same month and we have some of the same uh, tendencies and different people call them tendency stubborn right and what i'm looking at is that was a nice way to say that wasn't it take yes. notes take notes but when we do that when we do that when we come in that space where ne neither of us are yielding mm -hmm. if you will neither of us are yielding on a point then i notice that we like a like a virtual referee just comes in the middle of it and says, okay, she's not changing. He's not changing. Okay, we go. And we agree to disagree mm -hmm. with that moment. Now, one of us might come back and say, you know what? You were right. But it doesn't happen at that moment. At that moment, we agree to split the difference. Yeah. In other words, I hear you. You go your way. I go mine. We have the same belief system. I didn't compromise on what I believed. She didn't compromise on what... She believed, but we walked away in peace and God will bring enlightenment as to which one needed to adjust their thinking. Yeah. I want you all to go with us to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 through 27. If you would write that down, you should be writing this down. I know you have your Bibles. I know ILM has their Bibles. <laughs> Amen. I want to read a few verses, but really ask that you would go back. And read verses 12 through 27 from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And it reads in this manner. For, for as the body is one, has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jew or Greek, whether slaves or free. And have all been made to drink into one spirit. I'm at verse 14. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Verse 17. If the whole body were an eye, where would we be hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would we be smelling? But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. I'm at 19. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? 20. But now indeed there are many members, yet one body. And it, these verses, they just go on to say that the eye cannot say to the hand that I have no need of you, nor no gain to the head, to the feet, I have no need of you. But really go down and read. I want to drop to 27. And you are the body of Christ and members individually. I'm going to say that again, read that again. Now, you are the body of Christ and members individually. So go back and read verses 1 through 26. 26. Mm -hmm. So when we look at 
one of the most profound challenges in this journey of agreement is embracing the differences of each other, right? Mm. Agreeing with the differences does not mean, as Pastor said it a few minutes ago, compromising our values as beliefs, but rather recognizing and valuing the unique contributions that each person brings to the table. Really what it's about, it's about finding, being able to identify a common ground amidst mm. diversity, mm. acknowledging that the body of Christ is made up of many parts with its own function and importance. Now, when we looked at those verses and you heard for your re reading, this step calls for humanity. It calls for patience and willingness to listen and learn from others who experiences and perspectives, perspectives, excuse me, may be different from our very own. Mm, mm, mm. That was powerful. I think the disagreements lead to violence, mm. lead to disruption in, in a negative sense. Mm -hmm. But if we can learn to agree with each other in our differences with each other, I think the world would be more harmonious. And I believe yeah. that we should be searching for harmony right now based on how rough the world is. Don't you agree? I agree, Pastor. Type amen if you agree in the chat. Amen. Say, I agree, Pastor. I agree, Pastor. Amen. So let's go with number three, and that is, drum roll please, agreeing with God. Hallelujah. Agreement Hallelujah. with God. Agreement with God. Whose agreement mm. do you think is the most important out of all entities you know? God or everybody else? God. But that's not how we live our lives, Pastor. That's true. Most of us live our lives where we try to agree with everyone else mm -hmm. and we're willing to disagree with God. Yeah. But let me tell you like this. If you disagree with God, you are then disagreeing with your existence. My Lord. And if you disagree with your existence, then you're not able to function mm -hmm. within your mm -hmm. existence. Mm -hmm. Not properly, not the way that God designed for you. Come on, Pastor. He's the most important entity in your life. Yes. He is God, and besides him, there they should be no, no God, other. No. Hallelujah. No other lowercase God, no other uppercase God, mm -hmm. no other God shall come before your Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I want us to agree with God. That was the most important thing because when you agree with God, he crowns your life yeah. with, with peace. peace. That's right. That's right. And I want peace. Hallelujah. How many of you want peace? Hallelujah. If you want peace, type in the chat. I want peace. I want peace. I need peace. I need peace. And I will have peace. And I will have peace. Come on, peace. type it in the chat. I want peace. I want peace. I what? Need, need peace. peace. And I will what? Have, Have peace. peace. Amen. Amen. Come on, Amen. Pastor. Amen. So step number three is agreeing with God. When we look at the summary of being able to agree with God, central to spiritual agreement is our trust. Mm -hmm. It's really about us trusting in God. And it's our surrender to the will of God, to God's will, believing in his goodness and the plans that he has for us, even when the plans that God has for us are not clear to us. Yes. And so when I think about the central spiritual agreement is our trust, when we look at the scripture, Proverbs chapter 3, 5, it says, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And then it goes on to say, with all thy heart, mm. lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And so here it is. God has a plan for goodness in all of our lives, even when it's not clear to us. Yes. And so when we look at the heart of spiritual agreement, mm -hmm. it really is our relationship with God. Pastor Kofi just said it to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Being able to agree with God means that we're going to surrender our plans. Mm. We're going to surrender our understanding and our desires to his will. <laughs> it, you want to say something, Pastor? Keep going. It involves us trusting in God's goodness, yes. in his promises, in his plans for our lives, even when they are challenging, not just unclear to us, when they're not clear to us, but even when they're challenging. And so this step is foundational to experiencing God's peace. Mm. It aligns us with the ultimate source of the truth, with love and direction. And it's about saying, not my will, 
but yours be done. be done. And where is that? It's in Luke chapter 22, verse 42. Yes. And when we think about trusting his plans for us are always good. Jeremiah 29, 11 says what? For I know oh. the plans that I have for you yes. to do you good, to do you no harm, for I know the expected end. Mm -hmm. My, my. Now that right there is agreeing, agreeing with God. Hallelujah. Agreeing with God. And so when we look at step number four, Agreeing with each other. Oh, my. Agreeing with each other. Mm. See, oftentimes, when I think about agreeing with someone, and I don't know why this is, that when, when I think about agreeing with someone, again, it's like we said in the beginning, it's not about you losing your values, values, excuse me, but still holding on to what your values are. And our values really should line up with God's word. Amen. And true. so the the summary of agreeing with each other is, is fostering an agreement with others is crucial for peace, right? Mm -hmm. It has to be built on love. It has to be built on respect. And it is a commitment to unity, to be in, having unity with the person that you're agreeing with, but also prioritizing the health Mm. And the harmony of our relationships. Yes. Finally, agreeing with each other is crucial for living in the peace that God intends for us. Mm. What is it built on? It's built on love. It's built on respect and a commitment to unity, togetherness. Yeah. It means prioritizing the health and harmony of our relationships. Watch this, over the need to be right. Yes. You don't always have to be right. And even when people don't agree with you, or let, let me say it another way. Oftentimes, when you don't agree with people about a specific thing, mm -hmm. they'll get upset with you. Yes. Have, have an attitude. attitude. Yes. <laughs> be yes. mad. Be angry. I'm not talking to that person. Why can't we really just learn to agree with each other respectfully? It doesn't mean that your way is the right way or the best way. It's just your way. So we really should work on agreeing with each other, right? When you look, you want to say something fast. Yes, it's like the scripture you read before in Corinthians. Mm -hmm. The eye cannot say to the ear, I have, have no, no need. need of thee. Come on. But I want to point something out. Just consider this. This is what that scripture was, in essence, trying to get us to see. If the eye is meant to do what? See. see it is not meant to do what? Hear. <laughs> What's made to hear? My you got ear. it. The ear. Yes. Why is the ear not called the eye? So my, my point is that each item on your body has a functionality yes. that is separate from and different from another. Yes. But they all must work together in harmony yes. so Come that on. you can just walk and get what you want. So that you can hear something and comprehend it. Yeah. So that you can reach down and pick something up. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can turn your head and move about. So you can put it in your mouth and chew and swallow. You yeah. follow me? Yeah. Everything that you want to do is contingent upon all of your members agreeing with each, each other. other. That's right. That's Amen. Amen. They must agree so that the will of God can yeah. get done. Yes, yes, yes. Just like your items must agree in order for you to function and move mm. about and do what you have to do or do yes. what you want to do. You ever think about that? You're moving around and you're 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 angling yourself, you're turning, you're spinning around in a chair, you're moving, you're going up and down steps, you're doing things that you take for granted. Yes. Meaning, you take for granted that your leg ain't broke. Mm. That your neck wasn't stiff when you tried to turn it. In other words, each member had to function independent of the other. Yes. In order for the grand scheme of things mm. to happen. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And in, order to, in this world, in order for us to function together, we must agree. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. I want us to look at Ephesians chapter 4, 3. And it reads in this manner, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of 
peace. And so Ephesians 4, 3, it is urging you and I to make every effort, excuse me, to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Now, this step, as, as we're learning about agreeing with each other, it involves practical actions mm -hmm. like forgiveness, open communication, and working together towards common goals. Why? Because it is the unity of the body of Christ that we are truly reflecting his love and peace to the world. Mm. You want to say something, Pastor? No. And as we bring it to a close, the journey of agreement, it is a path towards peace mm. and unity. Amen? Amen. Beginning with understanding, embracing differences, mm. aligning with God, and uniting with each other. The journey of agreement is both personal and Mm -hmm. And it is communal you know, pursuit. pursuit. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And it begins with a deep understanding of what agreement means. It extends through embracing our differences and aligning ourselves with God. And it is manifested in our relationships with one another. Mm. So as we walk with the steps of agreement, we move closer to fulfilling God's plan. Yes. Plans for our lives. Mm. A plan crowned with peace, as Pastor Kofi said it in the beginning. Mm. A plan crowned with unity and love. Therefore, let us commit to this path of agreement. It's a principle of God. Trusting that as we do, we will experience the profound peace that comes from living in harmony with God's will. God's will. Now, remember we said, we read Luke chapter 242. Not my will, but that will be done mm. with each other. Mm. Living in harmony with God's will and with each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Living in harmony. Yes. With what God created. So listen, pastor. Yes, sir. Okay. Hallelujah. Pause. Sorry. Okay. You ready? I was trying to make sure I got that scripture right. Okay. Luke 2, 42. That's why I wanted to see it on the notes. Okay. Maybe you should do that another time. Okay. Instead of in the middle of the broadcast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that open rebu re rebuke. Okay. It's right on the notes, though. All right. There we go. Thumbs up. Hmm. You got to watch our thumbs up. I think that's mimicking me. Um, Us. Right now. You ready? I am. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. What a powerful message, Pastor. Mm, Tell yes, me something. Tell yes, me sir. something. Tell me something. Let's check your meter this morning. How is your peace meter this morning? Is it registering off the charts having peace? Or is it in the middle? Mm. You're climbing. You're getting there. Or is your peace a little low this morning? Mm. Well, for those of you all who are not optimized in your peace, which is all the way over, then let's agree with God. Yes. This yeah, morning. Yes. Put aside your differences. Yes, he wants you to live holy. Yes, you have to live holy. Yes, yes, yes. You have to put away sin in your life. Amen. Yes, yes. That's what a Christian all does. Yeah. A Christian is a Christ-like one. Yes. It is not a perfected one. It's just Christ-like in its actions. Yes. In their actions. And so you and I must put away sin. Amen. Right? That's all it is to it. And so listen, this is my point. We typically don't agree with God because we don't want to put away sin. Oh my. Did you know that's true. that that's the major original reason why we don't come in agreement with God is because his ways are strict and we want freedom of choice. And so I'm saying, don't you want peace? And so this morning, let's let God crown our lives with peace yes, by you, accepting the principle of agreement. OK, let's allow the Lord. Let's come in agreement with his plan. Mm. His will for our lives yes. so that we can get what he has for our lives. Yes. How about that? Hey, listen, if you're struggling with peace, if you're struggling with being able to agree, let us pray right now. Yes, thank you. As a matter of fact, pray with me now. Father, 
Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I struggled in the past. I struggled in the past. With agreement. With agreement. First, I didn't agree with you. First, I didn't agree with you. I didn't know how to agree with the difference. I didn't know how to agree with the difference. I didn't know how to agree with my fellow man. I didn't know how to agree with my fellow man. And therefore, and therefore I didn't agree. I didn't agree with me. With me. But help me this morning. But help me this morning. By saving me. By saving me. And filling me full of your spirit. And filling me full of your spirit. That I might know. That I might know how, how to come in agreement, to come in agreement with your spirit with and your, your spirit will for my and life. Your will for my life. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. I hope Hallelujah. that you chose to agree this Hallelujah. morning with God because I desire for you. To live a life of peace and freedom, which is found in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We hope that you caught the value today of the principle of agreement. And we're going to continue with the principles because we here at ILM love love you. But But more more importantly, importantly, God loves you. you. And you, and you, and you, and us. Peace. We'll see you soon. Blessings. Right here. Thank you.